Welcome to my fourth video on Google Classroom. This, in this video, we will understand the quiz assignment. Let's click on quiz assignment. And here Google provides us with a blank quiz. Click on this blank quiz and it will be directed towards the Google Forms. So here I have a Google Form. I can create any quiz, say quiz on management. Click on this. So I have, have the quiz on management. I can create a quiz like is planning essential. My first option. Any, any question you can post to your students. Yes. Add another. Say no. And this is a multiple choice question. There are various options over here. And I want to give an answer to it. So answer key. Yes. Assign points for it. Marks for it. So that the students can see what is the right answer and done. I will also enable the required option so that the student is forced to answer this question and cannot leave this answer or question unanswered. And then I can send it to my students or I can copy this link and go to my Google Classroom, remove this blank quiz, add a link of this quiz which I have made, control V and add link. So here I have the quiz on match. I want to keep it ungraded because I have already assigned the marks in my Google form and due date if I want to give them or due date and then the topic and then I will assign it to my students. So this was about quiz assignment. You will also get to know about the Google forms in the further sessions of our FTP so that will be given uh, more clarity to you. This is a Google Calendar. Whatever I give or assign to my students, it will be shown in my Google Calendar and I can see what was the due date and when the students have to submit it. So let us see. So this is the Google assignment and as you can see I have given a quiz and the due date is 25th. And I have given two assignments and both the due dates are 26. So I have the whole calendar over here. And I also have a separate class drive folder that is specifically for my management class and all the material will be stored over here. So I don't have to search in my drive. So here I have all the per class my drive. And the other options we have are the settings I can change edit my class details I can even give a general editing right like my class code this can be changed reset disabled if I feel that the students have joined now I have want the class code to be disabled I can do that I can reset it if I feel that a lot of students have got my class code and I do not want them to enter my class so I can reset it as well. Now this is an important part that is the stream. What kind of liberty I will give to my students? Whether the students can post or comment, students can only comment, only teacher can post or comment. This is your viewpoint. You can give whatever details you want the students. I want the students can only comment and not post. And I want the deleted items to be viewed to me. Then the grading, overall grading, 
average you want it an average total points you want weighted by category this is all about the grading options and i will save the settings i even have over here my settings for the profile so here i can change my profile picture click on it and you can select photo from your computer and set it as profile photo you can even have your own photograph if it is stored a web camera right now if you want to click a photograph and you can change your profile photo now there is also an option of notification because every particular uh, thing you are doing on Google Classroom, the, it is being saved in your Gmail as well. So whether you want notification emails or not, if you do not want it, you can disable it. If you want it, you can enable it. I want a backup, so I'll enable it. Whether you want comments on your post or you do not want anyone to comment, so you can disable it. Comment that man mention you, private comments on work, classes, you teach. Whether you allow the students to give late submission i do not allow i want them to give it on time the due date which is assigned to them or resubmit the work or i want invitation to co-teach as well schedule or post these are all the options you can change in your settings so we have done the classes calendar the various classes archived classes now if i want a class to be restored from my archive so these are the archived classes so i can restore it the three dots and i can restore my class so when i'll restore it it will come in my classes so here i have my management class in which i have 40 students and i've given them work so it is again back to my classes you can see the grades of these students 40 of them this will look like this these are all the students and here I have given them work and these are the work which I have checked and which are not checked who all I have given me the work all these things can be seen so this was all about Google Classroom for further uh, query you can always uh, leave a message and contact us thank you so much